Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux on YouTube. And before you get your panties in a bunch, yes, I'm using a Windows machine for another, as long as the intro is, let's put it that way. Um, the reason why I'm going to use this machine is it's been sitting in a closet for, I don't know, a while, year and a half, maybe two. Um, and what I'm going to do in the scope of this video is I'm going to create a Debian server for uh, media and media serving. So me, I use Plex and I have since 2014. Now I haven't always had a dedicated uh, server for Plex. Um, it's only been the last two or three years maybe or so. Uh, anyway, I used to use a NAS that had a Plex plugin, so I was able to use that. But I chose to kind of like move away from it just so that I had like kind of to break up. Uh, if there was only one point of failure, uh, it wouldn't be the NAS server. So, and this has been rock solid, uh, the Debian server with Plex working on it. Now, the reason, again, the reason why I haven't used like Jellyfin or something like that, it wasn't there you know, in 2014. So I've kind of have a lot of time and I've had a lifetime, uh, sub, I've been a lifetime subscriber to Plex for, like I said, nine years plus. So um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I've set things up with live television as well. Uh, that's just my workspace. But here is my dedicated Plex server. Um, it's, I got a really good deal on this little um, Dell and I connect to the media uh, by way of this USB um, and this five terabyte drive. So, I mean, I could probably get big, I mean, I think it's fine. For what I have currently, five terabytes is plenty. Um, so, in order to be able to connect to this server, the only thing that's plugged into this is a network cable. Okay, that's it. It just sits over there and does nothing except serve media. Now I connect to it via SSH, which we will show how to uh, set that up. And we will connect, and, and we'll also uh, set up file sharing uh, for this USB. This isn't always straightforward, and one of the reasons why I wanna do this video is because I wanna remember how to do this in the future. <laughs> I'm trying to future-proof myself a little bit, and maybe this helps somebody else as well, okay? So, um, just a quick picture. This is what I use. Uh, this is a over-the-air uh, receiver that transcodes uh, the over-the-air picture into um, something that can be, um, uh, you know, I have this network cable, so I'm able to watch live television on the network throughout the house. You know what I'm saying? So I have a, a two, I think it's two terabytes, two terabyte drive that's plugged into this um, so that I'm able to record over the air as well. Um, and then this is just my test area, which is right next to my work area. Uh, the top PC here is what we're gonna be using. And the bottom one is the one I normally use for um, for all my videos. So I am probably going to um, pause the video here. The reason why is because I lose um, my, it, it, every time I try to do a reboot here, uh, OBS, the connection fails. So the next time, so I'm gonna pause and start off with um, um, basically ditching this OS and just putting Debian on, okay? Okay, this is a uh, reboot and we are looking at a Debian install. Now, uh, you will notice that I am using a Debian Bullseye or Debian 11 and you might ask the question, why don't you just wait two days when Debian Bookworm is released and you can do this with the latest and greatest? You got a fair argument. I don't know. Maybe uh, you have, uh, do I need to? Is it going to be any different? 
on the server level? Probably not. And in fact, I can make an argument that Debian 11 is to the point where the stability is as good as it's going to get. There will be much, much fewer updates in the next year. So why not just rock with the most stable server that we have for Debian? My, I mean, again, you can argue both ways. I am going to go with the um, Debian 11. That's, that's it. So I'm going to go down to the expert install like I normally do uh, just to get things quickly through. I, um, I'm going to hit the enter key a few times. I will stop and I will put um, time tags into the video so that if you don't need this, then you're, you're good. I will say this, uh, there will be slightly slight changes to how I normally do it. Um, in one aspect, I will be not using ButterFS. I'm just going to be using standard uh, ext4. And uh, But I am going to name it something that's easily to remember. A lot of times Debian will pick like some random like a machine name um, and generally I change that so I would recommend changing it for you as well we'll get there um, and you'll see what I mean now this particular machine has an incredibly small hard drive it's like 128 gigabytes so if you were to use something this small you are going to need like a um, external drive. Um, I'm going to use just like a 32 gig external USB to uh, demonstrate how to set that up. Now again I've created this um, this machine with the host name Bellagio. I use sometimes um, hotel names from Vegas so Bellagio seems to be a good name for me. <laughs> And I'm going to hit continue uh, a couple times. And yes and no, like we normally do. And if you want, again, I'm not going to put like a super complicated password because it's within my network. And yes. And we're going to do a manual again. Um, like I said, it's 128 gig of uh, NVMe. So let's let's put GPT here, and let's go and create a. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's just go 500 megabytes or smaller. It's fine. So hit continue. And then use this as EFI and done and now the rest of it we're going to just partition uh, using ext4 that's seems reasonable and let's finish and no and yes to write the changes and let's go ahead and install the base system And try to do this as quickly as possible. This is really not the most important aspect of it. Um, once we start, once we start, <laughs> uh, then we'll get into um, Samba sharing and, and things like that. And 
I don't, yeah. Hmm. If you want to be real super safe, I'm just saying, if you want to be super safe, just tr pick one of these like FTP US or Debian.org. Um, that's fine. I'm going, I'm using, this is not going to be a production. I am going to just go ahead and for speed because I know it's the fastest mirror. And yes and no. Now I'm not going to change anything. I don't think the back ports is going to be uh, necessary for this. So we're just going to hit continue. And as far as software is concerned, we're going to do the minimal software. Now there will be a, a slight, I usually don't add uh, open SSH or SSH serving. Uh, I am this time. So you'll see in a second. No, okay. And we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna uh, arrow down and, and turn these off by hitting the space bar, but we are going to add SSH server here and then hit continue. It only actually adds five packages to the installation. Now, I, this, I will have to say that this particular machine um, is super light in resources. Now, if you were going to do this and you wanted to do, you use like a, um, a dedicated GPU, um, the, I might actually have to uh, redo this video uh, using an NVIDIA card because that might be something that's worth Wow, but let's just get through this um, using Intel video. Okay, so I am rebooting and I probably shouldn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video because at this point, I actually don't need, um, I don't need to be on this machine. I can just SSH into this machine. So as long as you're good with at this point, um, I think that you'll be all right. So what I'm gonna do is pause and uh, use my test machine to complete the rest of this video. Okay, we are in the uh, my test machine, which is using Qtile right now. Um, and I'm going to open up a terminal. And let us um, SSH into, we're using our username, and the name of the machine that we just created was called Bellagio, okay? And it's like is asking if we want to uh, connect, and the answer is yes. And our password was that awesome password. So now what we're doing, we've got um, we are in the other machine and the the server. Okay. Now let's do some let's do some uh, installation um, stuff that we might want to use. And let's say install. Uh, micro just in case we need the text editor ranger just in case we want to use a file uh, terminal file manager um, and Samba um, I want to install exa and I think I want to install um, xdg 
uh, user uh, ders and should be good like that Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, goodness sake. Let me, um, I'm gonna install git just so I can get my bash rc. That's the only reason, okay? That's the only reason. I can always uninstall it later, but. Uh, so git clone. Um, <clears throat> I can, this is probably the stupidest way to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Okay, and now, um, and I'm going to move my uh, dot bash or C um, to my, there we go. And so let's just, uh, oh, I forgot NeoFetch is not. Okay, let's just do that real quick. Uh, so apt install NeoFetch. And it doesn't matter. Make it nice and pretty when you log in to do whatever you need to do. Uh, super unimportant, but let me go ahead and clear the screen. And so now if I do um, this is my, this is Bellagio, 460 packages, memory is fine. And I think what we need to do now is, oh, let me just do this real quick. XDG, um, user ders update. And that way we have all of our, oh, CD, LS. So now we have all of our, like, you know, documents and all that stuff. Is it necessary? No, it's not. I am going to be using um, the home directory for the USB drive though. So um, let's install uh, ZRAM tools and um, Intel microcode, microcode, migrated code. There we go. And okay, let's uh, pseudo micro um, Etsy default CRAM swap, and let's uncomment and then uncomment and say twenty five. And now we're good there and let's clear the screen. So while I'm at it, I think what we can do um, is I can open Thunar and browse network. Now, as you remember the name of the, um, the name of the machine that we uh, created or the, you know, the uh, host name is Bellagio, and I'm just want to see if that's something that we can just SFTP to since we installed um, since we installed Samba. So if I click on that, and yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, you might have to log in or authenticate. I think I already did once, and I can go to home, and then my name. So I have access to the user. So if I want to start moving stuff over, I can. Now the problem again is that um, you don't have access to uh, anything other than the drive, the hard drive, and that drive is only 128 megabytes, so you're not, or sorry, 128 gigabytes, so you're not, you're not storing a whole lot on, on this particular machine. Now, if I 
go to, um, sorry, my terminal, and I say LSBLK, you'll notice that the um, ZRAM swap is there. This NVMe is uh, there, and that is our um, SSD. And SDA1, SDA and SDA1, is a USB uh, that I just stuck in there uh, stuck in the USB slot about a second or two ago. So this is what we need to find so that we can move um, we can move media to that USB. So what I'd like to do actually is remove this. I don't even remember uh, <laughs> I don't even remember what's on this uh, USB stick. Uh, I know that it's 32 gig. Um, so I'm going to remove it and then put it in the test machine. Uh, that I'm using to record on. Okay, so uh, since now again, I'm over, I'm doing this command inside of the um, Bellagio, which is our, uh, our now our Debian server, and you can see that I've removed and there is no more SDA. So uh, I am going to open up um, disk utility so uh, and let me go ahead and move that over to workspace 2 okay and you'll see that this is got oh it's just free space that's why all right um, and what I think I'd like to do is create a partition and I'll erase it and we'll just call this uh, media files and I think I'd like to just create this internal uh, XTA4 um, since we're just using this as a uh, on the Debian server and I'm going to hit create. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause this for now until it um, until it finishes. Oh and it takes 34 minutes. Wow that's that's a lot longer than I thought it was going to. All right well I'll pause and uh, and come back to you in a sec. Okay so it's finished. Uh, it's formatting. Um, and this UUID um, is important. I just went ahead and copied it and pasted it into uh, Genie, my text editor. Now I'm going to go back over to uh, Workspace One. Again, this is the uh, Bellagio. Um, this is the Bellagio server for media. And PWD. Yeah. I want to make sure that. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and actually put the USB stick in uh, in the server, and I want to go ahead and create. So I'm gonna go make dir, and then we're just gonna call it USB. Okay, and there you go. So uh, there's that USB right here. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna do lsblk again. And you'll see that the the USB stick is now on SDA uh, SDA one. All right, let's go ahead and let's clear the screen. And we're going to let me just pull up LSBLK again real quick. So what I'd like to do is say sudo uh, block id, and we're going to look at dev SDA SDA one. Okay, and there's that that same number two nine three. Sam, just make sure it's the same, right? Two nine three. Yep. So what we should, what we can do, which I think is a good idea, since we've already created this uh, USB directory, is to um, mount it at boot. So we can do that by saying sudo micro, which I've already installed, and then Etsy and fs tab. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this just so I have full screen. Okay, and now what we want to do is we're going to um, basically copy a uh, we're going to copy a um, a line of this. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go like this. Just just we're just going to add a line and say UUID equals. Okay, now we need that number here. So I'm just going to copy it 
and then back over here and we're going to paste it okay now let's just hit the tab and we're going to uh, give it a mount point of um, home and then the username in this case drew and USB okay and let's go ahead and hit tab again and we're going to give it an XT uh, ext4 and then let's tab it and go defaults and then tab zero oh zero space zero okay actually let's let's go ahead and, and put a tab in ah. and then hit zero and now let's just uh, save this by hitting uh, in since we're using micro it's control s and then control Q okay now just so that we know that it's uh, going to um, boot up with the correct um, uh, we're gonna we're just gonna reboot so that we can see uh, that take into effect so I'm gonna reboot and notice that it closed the remote and um, give it a second or two and then we'll um, we'll we'll re-log in to Bellagio okay so I don't know SSH and uh, into uh, Bellagio might take another minute or two but it'll it'll continue to try to uh, <coughs> connect um, and then it will give us a, a, a prompt for the password. There we go. Okay, finally. And there's uh, there's our server and we're logged in and I'm gonna clear the screen alright so LS and there's that USB that we created and so if I CD into USB now there's there's the um, the drive okay now the problem might be that it is root okay okay let's go ahead and, and we're gonna go back and we're going to sudo uh, chown and then we're going to uh, say drew call on drew and then home drew oh and then also I need uh, sorry uh, dash r there and then USB okay so now when we go back into USB oh sorry uh, CD and USB. There we go. You'll see that uh, the permissions are different. Okay. So let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to um, I'm going to go and open up my uh, Thunar, and again I'm going to log in to SFTP and uh, Bellagio. okay uh, actually it's got me logged in and now if I go to home through USB I just want to uh, create a folder that we're gonna call um, movies okay and let's also create a folder called TV shows okay so now we're able to like start doing stuff okay which is great now uh, and the one thing I like to do, and this is just me, <laughs> maybe, but I'm just going to go back one level and I'm going to go to this USB directory and I'm going to uh, send this to and create a shortcut um, so that I have a, an easy way to get to the server. And what I like to do is, is rename the shortcut and say it's... Um, Bellagio or um, and then 
let's just call it USB. Okay. And that way I know, like, if I do click away, you know, I'm in um, my my documents or something like that, and I click back to the USB Bellagio, uh, this Bellagio slash USB, I know that I'm on the uh, server. Okay. That's just a easy way to do it. Okay, so the I guess we need to install our uh, whether it be Jellyfin or um, or Plex. So I guess you know, right here I've added. Um, I, I'm on the page where I think it's uh, you're, you're going to add this particular uh, line. Copy that. Oh, you know what we need though. Let me just do it real quick. Uh, install curl. Okay, let me just clear the screen, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that line in. Good, and let's go back here, and we can do copy that. And there you go. So now when I say uh, update, or sudo apt update, there it is. Um, I would... I can easily now uh, say sudo or just yeah I'm just gonna say sudo apt install and plex media server Oop, it's not called that oh it's just I think it's actually it's just it's no hyphen there I think plex media server there you go And there you have it. Okay. All right, well, I'm at it. Might as well install Jellyfin at the same time. So I'm going to go over here and we can do this. Copy that. And let's go and paste that in there. A lot more stuff, huh? Waiting 15 seconds. Okay, so you can access this by going to this on your server. Um, okay, let's try that. I don't know that that's right, but <laughs> I'm going to go with copy. And let's go back over here and open and paste and go. Is that even... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say no. Let's let's try this about, and then let's actually call it Bellagio. There you go. All right. So we're able to log in to Bellagio, and now we can set up stuff. Now let's also at the same time let's let's do this with Plex too. So I think it's uh, uh, we have to get the IP. So if you're if you don't know what your IP is, just kind of IP there and we need this particular uh, IP and I'm going to go over here and we're going to say 192 and actually I have it already it's and then see this part here oh whoa 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 I should have done let me go back sorry a uh, 192.168 and this with the word web is what you want okay so this is what you're going to need for uh, setting up a plex server all right and now when i hit enter it's going to take me to uh, a login screen okay now now what i'd like to do since i'm i'm at the point where i can like uh 
use both Jellyfin and Plex. I think what I'm going to do is, is uh, stop the video now and do a second video on configuration. So what we've done today is basically is create a Debian server uh, for this media serving. And, um, and it, it was pretty straightforward, right? Okay, so I'll talk to you soon about how to use both Jellyfin and Plex.